You are watching Women Without Limits. Daughters of Zion, how are you? I'm inviting you for the 28th meeting. It's going to be here at JCC Parklands, right opposite Premier Academy on Forest Road. I want you to know that it's free for every woman. I want you to invite them from the highways and the byways so that they can come and get transformed. There is no daughter of Zion that comes and remains the same again. You're welcome to come join us. Join the champions. Don't you let where you've been hinder you. Don't let what they've said hinder you. Hinder you. Don't you let your past hinder you. You're a woman without limits. Yes, you are. Yes, You're you are. You're a woman without limits. Yes, you are. There's nothing the enemy can do. Stop what God has for you. There's nothing the enemy can do. Good evening, viewers. You're welcome to Woman Without Limits. My name is Reverend Kathy Kuna, and I'm delighted to have you tuned in tonight. I know you're in for a treat. Woman Without Limits has been bringing amazing, amazing stories of different men and women that have been delivering lives all over, not just in Kenya, but even in the diaspora. And we thank God for that. Our stories are also on YouTube. You can tune in and go to WWL, Woman Without Limits, and you're going to find us right there so that you can understand that God is able to pick you from any level and lift you up to where you ought to be. And this is what I keep saying. You can never give up. You're a woman without limits, and nobody, nothing can limit you but you yourself. So you know what you need to do? Get out of your own way. Stop standing in your way and believe I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There is nothing impossible with my God. If God is on my side, then I'm going to make it. And that's what Woman Without Limits is all about. Who knows? You could be next. And so today, we have amazing stories. And I believe that God is going to help you and deliver you even from any calamity whatsoever to understand that indeed you can be everything and anything that God purposed for you. Today, we have two guests that we are going to minister to, who are going to minister to us actually <laughs> this uh, evening. And I do believe that God is going to bless us. Would you please welcome with me Ruth Kenothia together with Moses Onyango. Come on, give it up for them. Hi, <laughs> sweetheart. Uh, how are you? Hey. Nice to see you. Hey, okay. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you too. Amen. Amen. You're looking at them, and I'm sure you're wondering, are they an item? No, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> they are just on set together. Yeah. Ruth, how are you? I'm awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. So nice to see you again. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah? yeah. And you've been doing an amazing work. Thank you. We're going to get to that yeah. and understand. And Moses, how are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah? Thank you. You have known you since you were, my goodness, how old? High school, actually. You were in high school. You were yeah. a little boy. Yeah, 16. And then you found your way to... You were 16. Yes. <gasps> <laughs> 16 years old oh yes. my goodness so you're gonna let these people know mm -hmm. how god has brought you this far and the reason why we brought ruth and and moses today is to let everybody know that god is doing something amazing and mm -hmm. when god does something amazing we need to recognize that and That's give him true. glory yeah. yes. yeah because all glory goes back to god yeah for mm. whatever it is that he has done in our lives mm. isn't it yeah and so today mm. i want to start with ruth and yes. i'm just going to keep talking to both of you yeah, yeah. and then you're going to keep talking to us and yes. uh, you know yeah, helping sure. somebody out there That's to true. know that they don't ever need to give up in life yeah. That's true. okay yeah. mm -hmm. and uh we start with you moses you came at the age of 16. at the age of 16. to jcc to jcc uh-huh Yes, I actually was introduced by my sister, uh, Tebby. She was the first one actually to join JCC. Mm -hmm. uh, that is back in 2001, all right? So that wow. time we had wow. a lot of... Uh, wow. We were actually seven siblings at that time. 
So my brother and I were introduced the very, very first time to GCC, and we began coming, okay? And one of the things that actually made me stick, because I used to, you know, frequent many churches, but I think one thing that made me stick to GCC was their praise and worship. Mm. Wow. Yes. Oh, the, really? Especially the keyboard parts, the dancing yeah. parts, that was something that really blew me off. The dancing. The dancing and uh, the, you liberty, know, in the, the liberty in the presence of God. The liberty in the presence of God, you know, the joy, the celebration. So I think right. that really uh, impacted my life to a place that I, I, I said, this is where I need to be, this, this is home. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then also had a background of dance, so I thought, okay, I need to connect. And mm. my connection was very, very, um, I can say it was awesome. It was off the hook. So you were first looking for churches? Yes, and yes. And then you zeroed in I used to go to church, I, any church. I actually used to wake up when they sing the grace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anytime they sing the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, yeah. you know, that's the time I wake up, because I used to go sleep. But now when I came to GCC, <laughs> everything was different. The praise and worship, <laughs> the word, yeah. the impact, you know, as in everything. I was awake through the service. And when um, the man of God asked, who wants to get saved? Even you know, before he asked, I was already there. Mm. Whatever it takes for me to be part of this, I want. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So you now gave your life to the Lord. I gave my life to the Lord. And uh, se uh, 17 years down the line, I've, I've stuck. 17 you. years down the line, you yes. come on, give it up for you. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 17 years down the line. Yeah. Hold that thought right there. What about Ruth? How did you how did you find your way? I came mm. when I was younger than him. <laughs> yeah, I came, uh, I was in Form 2 or Form 3. Yeah. And I used to come alone mm. to church. Mm -hmm. How did you find it? So we were in Tintin. And there were a few churches at the time. Yes. So you guys were in the restaurant. We were yeah. on the ground floor. Yeah. So we used to hear there's a lady who sings really well. Yeah. That was you. Yeah. Oh, okay. She <laughs> sings really well. <laughs> Let yeah. me sit properly. Uh. That would be me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that you sing really well yeah. and your praise and worship is amazing. Wow. Uh. So we used to, when the service ends, we come yeah. to uh, Tintin. Yeah. And I just started coming and coming and that's how I stuck. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And you stuck all those years? And I years? stuck all the way when we moved to Ngara and then moved here. Yeah. Yes. Right. Oh my goodness. So just tell me. <laughs> 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 Were you born again at that time? Or did you get born again in the process? I was, I, I grew up in a very Christian family. So, I mean, we were Catholics until I was like, let's say eight, and then became Protestant. So I've always grown up in the house of God, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. I've always been in church. Mm. Yes. And you've always been a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go deep? Uh, behaved. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I think I was very rooted eh, from my young age. I, I, I mean, we, my, uh, when we were Catholics at the time, I think I was in class two. That's mm. like eight years old. Yeah. Right. Even my brother was an altar boy at the time in mm. Catholic church. And then we became uh, Protestants. And... I just say, let me just say, God has kept me. I've been pretty well behaved, thank wow. God. Mm. Good yeah, God. thank God. <laughs> so it is actually possible it to, is? to live in the Lord yes. and love the Lord as possible. a single girl yes. and, yeah. and stay. And, and, and stay. It is possible. God will just keep you. Sometimes it's not about what you do or how strong you are. Mm. It's just how God preserves you. Yes. Mm. yes. That's true. So he preserved you. Oh, he wow. me. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Some of us don't have the same story. <laughs> Every story counts. Yes. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Every story counts. Mm. And you know what? He kept us even he with did. babies. Mm. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because they are a blessing from the Lord. That's yeah. true. So he still kept us. Amen. Yes. Amen. So we thank God. Wow, Amen. that's beautiful. What a story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And so you stuck now in JCC. Yes. What made you stick? Um, okay, apart from, you know, the person, first it was, it was full of young people at the time. Um, and being in high school, I just like the energy. Mm. There's a lot of energy, the praise and worship, the vibrant preaching. Mm -hmm. So I just stuck and I met a friend of mine there who moved also from the church we were in and came with his parents to JCC. With the I parents? Mean, yes, with the parents. So I, I just started going there. Right. I just used to because I was in a day school. So Sunday was church and I would come to JCC mm. and then go back home. Right. Yeah. Oh my. Yes. Okay. So Moses, here you are now. You've been born again. Uh -huh. And then? So when uh, I got born again, I decided I need to serve God. All right. And I noticed, I, I realized that I have a gift. There's a gift of dancing. 
So the first time actually came to church in the afternoon, there was a youth, I think there was a youth meeting going on. Mm -hmm. And this particular group that was called to dance, that was part of JCC, Doap. Doap, yeah. So immediately Dancers I saw, with a purpose. Dancers mm -hmm. with a purpose, yes. Yeah. So immediately I saw those guys like, wow, this is what I want to do, you know, all the rest of my life. And they were dancing. And they were guys. dancing yeah. seriously. They still do. They yeah. still do, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even I'm still part of Doap till come today. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when I saw that group, I was so amazed and they decided okay i went and asked the leader what can i do to be part of this and he told me the few details and uh, in the following week i was part of duap and um, you know wow. yeah and i bless god till today i keep on serving god through dance i'm not ashamed through dance through we're going to talk about that because you've gone very far with that mm -hmm. dance uh -huh. but i want to ask you what, what happened to your siblings at that time uh we grew up in a lot of difficulties um uh we actually are seven and my dad at that time was actually up country. That time I was in high school. So my mom raised us single-handedly. And uh, at that time, my mom had just been retrenched from work. So uh, school fees was a problem. Uh, meals was a problem. So I decided, OK, let me just come and serve God the best way I can. And uh, when, when actually uh, our pastor, Bishop, uh, asked who has a prayer request you know, in church, and that time there were very, very few. And I remember my sister actually went and approached him and said, we just want to God to come through for us in the area of school fees and, uh, you know, so that we can be able to settle all, all issues. And something amazing that dad did, was like, I want to know, uh, he actually, I can remember his words, yeah. I want to not only pray for you, but I'll take you to school. Mm. Come on. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Again, that really changed my life. So he said, I'll not only pray for yes. you, but I'll take you to school. I'll take you to school. Mm -hmm. Not only I Come myself, because yes, yeah, because yeah, I had also other siblings, like mm -hmm. my two other brothers who follow after me, who also n who, who had been kicked out of school. That was in class two and class one, respectively. So actually, all of us were taken to school by bishop, the three of us. Hey. So paid for school fees at the same time, wow. you know, bought for books at the same time, uniform at the same time. And I remember actually Pastor Andrew, one of our uh, past associate pastors, right. who currently is in Nakuru. Is one who used to come and make sure everything is okay, comes to a house. At that time, I remember we used to stay in a, in a shop, a one-room shop, you know, like several of you staying in a shop. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So everything happens in the shop. Talk wow. about eating in the shop, washroom sleeping in, the shop, in the shop, sleeping in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so a uh, person used to come and check on us, make sure that you're okay. Are you okay? Have you guys fed? You know, if we don't have money, he provides money for supper and everything. And so, you know, life continued. So but Bishop made sure that you guys mm. were fed and you were okay. Yes, we were mm. fed, we were okay, mm. transport-wise and everything. So he used to provide all the time until now we finished high school. Campus also he continued, not mm. only for myself, but for my other siblings. Mm. Continued paying for school fees in campus. That even the time now, even I graduated, you know, he, he continued you know, right. all through. Right. He didn't stop until he made sure that all of us were educated. And you know what's mm. amazing is that you are also sharp in school. That's like true. your little brothers would get A's only. Yes, yes. They wow. didn't even know B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, That's they true. did not know the letter no. B. Mm. It was not in their vocabulary yes. or in their writings or in their wordings. <laughs> <laughs> B was nowhere. That's true. A throughout. Everything Yo, was A. How yeah. will you not be? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's coming and showing you, I have an A. Uh, you are like, Please, which school do you want to go to? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So they finished, all of you guys finished? Yeah, all of us finished. And uh, apparently, okay, my, our last born brother could not really go far because uh, he passed on because of some few health issues. Yeah, yeah but mm -hmm. we proceeded all with my brother who currently is also working, you know. He's working, staying on his own, about to get married, about wow. to marry right now. Right. Yeah, so we, we finished and, um, you know, life has been good so far. You know, God has kept us. God has He's enabled us you. to come this far. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's why I can say for me, I'll continue serving him in whatever I, I, capacity. I, I, I'm, I'm going to come back to you mm -hmm. because, you know, that, that uh, the, the power to stay yes. and, and, and to, you know, be consistent. Yes. You tell us what it has brought in your life and, and mm -hmm. why you chose to do that. Yes. And uh, Ruth, yeah. so now here you are, you started, you decided this is, this is the place. This I'm, is I'm it. going to be coming here. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us how you got into beauty. You know, um, that's an interesting story because I was such a tomboy. I know people, when I tell people I was a tomboy, they don't believe it. 
But you I don't look really anything was, like a tomboy. I know. I say I'm a cleverly disguised one because I grew up, okay, my, my older brother had a lot of influence on me. But um, I always had a passion or I loved to watch beauty pageants on TV. So sometimes on whatever TV show they would show Miss World from previous years and I would watch and I'd be so intent. And in my heart, I always said, I want to be there one day. I just want to be there. So um, I remember in 2005, uh, the Miss Kenya franchise holder, Terry Mungai, brought the current Miss Kenya to church, that's Cecilia. And Cecilia was talking about how she's cut walking for Jesus. And, and I was sitting in the audience that time, it was a Sunday afternoon. And I said in my heart, I am going to be there. One day I'm going to be there. You did? Yes. You said in your I heart? I said it. I was like, I'm going to be there one day. Do you see as a man thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. honestly, as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. Mm. So what it is that you believe you can be, you can. Mm -hmm. If you believe you can't, you can't. If you mm. believe you're not cute, you're not. Uh. Mm. <laughs> if you believe you are, you yeah. are. Mm -hmm. If you believe your mambo bad, mm. that's who you are. <laughs> Amen. That's so true. you better believe good things about yourself. That's so true. you saw it and you said, I, I want. Saw it, I want this. That was in 2005. So in, uh, in 2007, that's when I feel that was the time for me because I had joined campus at that time. It was my, I think, second semester. Mm. And I, I got a conviction very strongly. That's why it's good to be in the house of God. Then God can talk to you. Amen. As you have grown, he can talk to you and leave right. you. Mm. Because sometimes he'll put thoughts in your mind you don't think you're capable of doing such a thing. Mm. Just judging by your outward appearance. Mm -hmm. I think I was such a diamond in the rough. Only God could have told me you can do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I got a strong conviction. Apply now. It was a July of 2007. Apply now. And at that time, I was like, I need the money to register. I need outfits. I had nothing. Yeah. And the conviction was so strong on me. I was vexed at that time. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do it. Because the conviction in my heart was this, and it was really strong, was if you don't register now, that door will close and you'll never get the opportunity again. So yeah. So I just, I went and I borrowed money from like my sibling and I registered. Right. And then we began the process. And I went through the prejudging. I went through, because for me, I was like, Lord, this is your will. Please get me through. Get me through. Give me outfits. Give me shoes. Give me hair. Like everything that I needed, he provided. Makeup. Everything. And makeup, everything. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he provided. Then what happened after that? He provided. So um, <laughs> now in November of 2007, that was November 3rd. I remember the dates because that was the finals for Miss Kenya. And we do our runs, you know, we do our, pre, our practice and everything. That night, the event was at Carnivore, to sell at Carnivore. And I think at like 2 in the morning, that's when they announced the winner. And it was really an out-of-body experience, like they say. Okay, you, you know that this is God's will, but it's hard even to reconcile to the two. Mm. You couldn't fathom. I couldn't fathom. Yeah. I, I feel like I was just on autopilot at the time that they were calling my name. And I'm asked to walk down the car talk, and then after that, I go backstage and I cry and cry because I'm like, what? How so did this happen? How did this happen? Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, you're still praying and believing God in the church before, yes. before now the, the announcement yes. that you are the Miss Kenya. Actually, I remember backstage, there was a time, you know, they take a break when they're deliberating, when the judges are tallying their votes. So I was backstage and I, I mean, it was very small backstage, but I found a little corner and I went on my knees and prayed and said, Lord, if this is your will, just do it. Don't let these judges determine what will happen. You do it. Yeah. So when they called your name, you then were like, <gasps> it happened. Have you ever prayed for something? <laughs> <laughs> then when God answers, mm. you are more in shock. You're <laughs> 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 uh, even wondering whether you're the one who prayed. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. Have you ever, even there are single girls who pray for a husband. Mm. When, when he, he comes, comes, they're like, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. you are trusting. Like that, yeah. you have believed God. I have. Mm. You are in the corner there, yeah. believing God that you're going to, yes. to be the Miss Kenya. Mm. And God let your will be done. Yes. Mm. Then the will was done, and, and you're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How? It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's true. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so amazing. it shocked you. It did. But it you shocked. took it in. It shocked my family. Yeah. I mean, they were like, are you serious? It shocked everyone. 
it shocked everyone. How did that change your life? What did that do to you? Um, so being thrust into the limelight is something else. Um, because there are certain standards that are expected of a Miss Kenya, you know, not just how you dress, where you go, the people you associate with at the time. And I mean, I was this church girl, to be very honest. You know, you were I was just church. I was just church girl. So every time they want me to appear on the rave or appear in a lounge, and for me, that was never my life. So trying to go into those places was a challenge. I would only go if I had an event and I'm appearing as Miss Kenya. And after that, I leave because it simply was not my place. I was very uncomfortable in, in that situation. But now the flip side is it's easy to fade when you are there. It's easy to, you see those Christian values and principles that you had? Now they start fading. It starts becoming shades of gray. You're like, oh, well, you know, it's, re it's required of me. I need and to I wasn't be. that serious anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's never that serious. Yeah. You see, when somebody is standing on top of something, a mm. table, for instance, and you're the one who's down, who's going to pull the other up or down? Mm. The one, the one who's down, down is going to be pulled down. Mm. You see, because mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. The one who's up is going to be pulled down. Yeah. You see, because it's easier yeah. to pull yeah. this way yeah. Yeah. than to pull, pull up. up. Yeah, that's true. Because pulling up takes more strength, mm -hmm. more energy. That's true. But pulling down is yeah. a minute. Instantaneous. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's mm. actually instantaneous. Instant, yeah. That's true. And so it's very easy. Yes. Mm. So you are now battling. I was battling. And it's a good thing that church for me was instilled. So every Sunday would find me in church. And mm. it, it gives you that reality check, eh? It gives you that, like, watch your step. Watch mm. it. So and it your father and mother in <laughs> bishop and mom yeah. mm. are watching, <laughs> watching yeah. you. Mm -hmm. You became Miss Kenya. Now, you let's know. see what you're going to do with that. You better yeah. not be yes. caught on tabloids. Yes. Mm. Doing things you're not supposed to do. Yeah. Mm. Because you, how will you explain that? Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. So there was accountability. I used to think in my head, would bishop want me to be here? Would dad want me to be in this situation? And remember, you would come see us and cry. Oh. And cry. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to take that direction. Yeah. I want to live right. I want. I want God. You know, no matter yes. what. You know, you yeah. would cry mm -hmm. and cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Can you imagine God's faithfulness? Mm -hmm. I mean, you 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 He's chose. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, that's why you're blessed. Amen. And that's why He has to keep blessing you Amen. because you know when you choose God in spite mm -hmm. of the pressure, because mm -hmm. there was pressure. Peer pressure, there yeah, was so, you, so societal pressure, I'm there was, you. I mean, it was just pressure, pressure. You're expected to maybe drive a certain car, yeah. live a certain way, mm. Mm. you're in your second year of campus, where are you going to get the money? Yeah. Unless, you know. Yeah, unless. Unless. Mm. Unless. <laughs> unless. <laughs> you will go into details. <laughs> 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 because yeah, when true. you're in school, yeah. Yeah. unless. Unless. Where are you getting? Uh -huh. Anyway. <laughs> and so, here you are, Moses. Mm -hmm. So now you have enjoyed the dance in, yes. in, in church, uh -huh. you finished school. I finished school, my campus. Uh -huh. What kept you staying in church and being focused and, and, and loving the Lord? I think for me it was about giving back. You know, uh, just thinking about where God has brought me from and the things he has done in terms of my siblings being paid for school fees, myself being paid for school fees. I said, God, I want to give you back. I want to serve you all the days of my life. And I won't, it do not even matter, even if I'm in the spotlight or not, I'll still serve you. And uh, dance was a thing that I wanted to use to serve God. Yeah, so I joined up. I began dancing in church and uh, all other activities about dance. We continued doing it. And it's when I decided to take another step. Because uh, in campus, I'd studied something called food technology. All right? And I thought... I food? Food. And technology. Food technology uh -huh. is the science behind food. We right? get to know about, you know. Um, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's all about uh, the science of food. Okay, what it does to the body, how mm -hmm. it can be applied, and uh, you know, what are the what are the physiological processes that happens when you consume food in the body? Okay, or what are the mechanisms that happen when you consume food in the body? So that I, I learned that in, in campus uh, when I was studying. So I decided I want to apply it in the marketplace. And then for me, I was not so keen about being employed, you know, because I love <laughs> my own space. You know, I love doing things in doing my own way, own thing. doing mm -hmm. my own thing. 
it's when I decided, why can't I use this, whatever, whatever I've achieved in school, and apply it in the marketplace. And I did, I began um, actually making fruit salads and juices and supply in offices in town. So every other day I used to wake up in the morning at four o'clock, by five I'm in Gikomba, take fruits and everything, mm -hmm. make salads, supply offices, you know, juices, and then I tell them the benefits of what it will do to your body as you consume it. And so people used to buy it. And then I used to have a very good language of talking, you know. I could really talk, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, you used to eat from your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, talking was my thing. As in, I tell you about even how you need to buy this table. You can. And you buy it immediately. <laughs> you would sell ice cream to an Eskimo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I mean, I remember yeah. there's a time somebody called me, I'm a church hooker. Because yeah. they used to sell everything, you know. I see, I see a notebook I want to sell to somebody. I see right. something I want to sell. So everything about me was just about selling. Mm -hmm. So I sold uh, fruit salads and uh, juices mm -hmm. in various institutions. Mm -hmm. So I used to go from office to office telling them about my juices, mm -hmm. how you need to have it, how it's going to be helping wow. your body, how it's going to be productive to you. So that was my lifestyle, you know, selling. Wow. And uh -huh. then also yeah. I've, I had an addiction about jewelry mm -hmm. for ladies and makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Makeup so and jewelry. Yeah. Okay. So I had an addiction <laughs> and hair treatment. I don't know what really, because I think I grew up with four sisters. That's why. And okay. I used to see them okay. dressing up and everything. Yeah. So I, I also have this attraction of jewelry, makeup, and everything. So once I'm done with my juices, I go to another shop, get jewelry, and start moving around the salons and beauty, spa, uh, beauty spas and everything. <laughs> just to go sell. Because you still have wow. that experience of talking to people, telling them about mm -hmm. why you need to buy my jewelry, why my treatment is mm -hmm. the best, what it will do to your hair. At that time, I never even studied. I just used to read the contents, what it does to you and everything. <laughs> Once I've read the contents, so it's what So you're making their life easier. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to read all this. Yeah, I don't need read. <laughs> just <laughs> allow me to demystify for you why you need to buy this. You know? <laughs> so yeah. for me, that was just a lifestyle. Mm. And yeah. they would buy. And they would mm. buy. You know, I used to... When any time I used to hit the market, like in the evening, I used to not cost less than 5,000 shillings mm -hmm. just from selling. What? Wow. Just from selling stuff, you know, mm -hmm. juices. Mm -hmm. You know why I brought you here and why I love you? Mm -hmm. It's because mm -hmm. when we finished educating you together with your siblings, you stopped disturbing. You, yes. you, you didn't now come back because you see the yeah. people you take to school and after that they still mm. hey, yeah. nae, hey. mm. yeah, you know <laughs> it's always just give me give yes. me give me but see when you learn when you learn how to take a, a, a fishing uh, road and road, when yeah. do it yourself do it yourself yes you make life much easier That's not just true. for you for everybody else mm -hmm. even somebody who helped you yeah. feels yeah it yes. was well worth it. Mm. That is true. Do you understand? That is then true. Then every time you've been helped, mm. but you still want more help, yeah, it's yeah. never enough. Mm -hmm. So I love that. The fact that you said, you know what, I'm going to just take the bull by the horns. Yes. And I'm going to do what it is that I need to do. Mm -hmm. And you started going walking. Walking is not easy. It's yeah, not easy. It's not. But you no. made that deliberate choice and started walking. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I did that. I did that because that was my lifestyle. And every other day, I used to wake up early in the morning, as I said, pray first, you know, pray and ask God, God, give me favor today. Every office I go to, and that time, you know, you're in that one room shop. So that was everything. So yeah. you have to tone down your voice in terms of praying. But once I prayed, I used to have that confidence and boldness. And go out there, I sell, I do stuff, and even help in the house in terms of maybe uh, paying a bit of rent, buying food and everything, mm -hmm. you know. So I used to do that. And uh, moving forward, since I used to dance also, I thought, why can't I package whatever I have and start selling it? Because if I can sell juices, I can sell fruit salad, I can do jewelry for ladies. I can sell my dance. Hey! Mm. <laughs> you people, I don't <laughs> think you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're hearing. Are you hearing? Mm. I, I can now sell what, what I, I do. Yeah. yeah. My dance. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? It's yeah. amazing. Imagine there are people who make hair like nobody else. Mm. Mm. But they say, ah, me, 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 me. Mm. So you're sleeping on money. Yes. Yes. There are people who are making yeah. hair and sleeping with thousands mm. of, of shillings because mm. they have made hair. Yes. But somebody else who has that gift mm. is like, I'm not going to make hair. Yes. It's not my class. Mm. Huh. Seriously? Mm. 
Mm. Making it has no class. Mm. <laughs> it has no class. <laughs> has no class. Mm. You just work. The, the, hawk, hawking has, what, what's the class about hawking? Mm. But if it's taking you to your destiny. That's true. And where it is mm. that you need to mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. That's true. You hawk till tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Hold that thought right there, Moses. Mm. You are watching Woman Without Limits. Daughters of Zion, how are you? I'm inviting you for the 28th meeting. It's going to be here at JCC Parklands, right opposite Premier Academy on Forest Road. I want you to know that it's free for every woman. I want you to invite them from the highways and the byways so that they can come and get transformed. There is no daughter of Zion that comes and remains the same again. You're welcome to come join us. Join the champions. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So here you are, Ruth. Mm -hmm. You have won. Yes. <laughs> you are now Miss Kenya. Yeah. Mm. You have been tried, 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 but you've stood with God. Mm -hmm. Mm. And then? <laughs> uh, well, I reigned, actually I reigned longer than any other mis sitting Miss Kenya because I was crowned in 2007, I handed over in 2009. So the whole of wow. 2008, I held it till end of 2009. So two years, yes. you held it. I held it for two wow. years. The yes. crown. Yes. Many hold just for one year. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 So I handed over, and then now that's where the it gets a bit. The ground or under your feet seems to move, because you're so used to the limelight, you're used to this recognition, and now the crown is gone, and then you're left with yourself. High mm. and dry. <laughs> with mm. you. Yes. High yes. and dry. High and dry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. yeah. No more recognition. No more recognition. And you know it can be a drug. That is, mm. yes. Yeah, that very recognition. True. Very oh, true. Wow. Mm. Oh my goodness. It can be a drug. Mm. And there are so many people who depend on it. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Because the press, everyone moves to the next one. That's the true. The one you just crowned. Mm -hmm. So every, the light moves. Yes. So you're left. So if you. Dark. Oh my God. If you yeah. lost yourself. During that rain, you mm. will not be you, you will not be able to recognize to yourself. pick yourself again. You won't. Mm. <gasps> Who are you now? Yeah, mm. yeah. right. Yeah, because that limelight is what made you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you've gone mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, who am I? Yeah. What? That's a very hard time for even many former beauty queens. It's a very hard time because that's where you can fall into very bad habits. Mm -hmm. You can. To now bring recognition back. Yeah. To mm. try and make it back into the limelight. Without a reason, you just want to be there. And tell people, it's me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Remember 2007. Yeah. <laughs> I have the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's intoxicating. Yeah. So mm. that's, that's the test. That's the test. Because you, you kind of try and find out who you are now. Your identity is sometimes shifted. So you're trying to find, okay, who am I now mm. without this? Because, I mean, mm. there's so much hype about me being mm. Miss Kenya. Mm. It, it, it forms part of who you are. So when the title goes, you just have to take a moment and figure yourself Tell out. Tell us now how Daughters of Zion affected you in that you area. Go. So, good thing, I was, al well, I was always in church for Daughters of Zion. So it changes how I, not how I thought. It changes how I thought. Because I know Daughters of Zion talks a lot about identity. It touches mm. on identity, who you are. Yeah. So regardless of the publicity and the fame and everything, the center of you, you know who you are. It's not what you do. It's only the title. The title is not who you are. Mm -hmm. It's the person. It's who God created. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. So nothing changed in that, pers in that space. You're still God's kid, right? You're still born again. You're still uh, you're affirmed. You're secure in God's love. You're still as talented as you were before. There's still something else you can do. Of course, it's hard to start back up because you feel like you're starting from scratch. Mm. Mm. You feel like you're starting from scratch. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it was difficult? It was really hard. Mm. It was really difficult to now figure out, okay, let me finish school, because I was still like in my second year then. I need to finish school, and then try and figure yourself out. Because at that time, I was doing a lot of projects with NGOs, um, still modeling. I modeled all actually throughout, but it's not the same. You, I, 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 there's still a bit of a void that was left. So I had to just figure out, okay, what's the next step mm. from here? Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fast forward. So now you started uh, uh, doing beauty. Yeah. How did that come about? I I graduated and started interning uh, with Suzy Beauty. 
because I remember when I, I first graduated, that's when she was launching her product. And I wrote her an email because when I was modeling before, she had done my makeup for like um, a magazine. So I emailed her and I told her, please, I want to work with you. I want to, um, don't even pay me. Let me just come and work with you and intern. Say that again. Don't even? Don't even pay me. Just I'll come. Let me come and work. How many people sit at home? They'd rather not show what they carry. They sit at home and wait. Yeah. Something will happen. I know God is coming. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, God is saying, I came. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yes. And you're waiting for years that God is coming. He'll come. He's so faithful. I know he doesn't. You cry there mm -hmm. for many years waiting. That's true. But if you can stand up and just volunteer mm -hmm. and say, look, I'm going to give my services. I'm yes. so good at this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be an asset to somebody's company. Yes. You'll be surprised. Yes. You, cr you start climbing Very ladders fast. Mm -hmm. that yeah. you never thought possible. Yeah, so you told true. Susie, yeah. you will volunteer. I'll volunteer. Mm -hmm. So she actually put me straight to work mm -hmm. on the day of the day she was launching her product. Right. And that's how I, I just started working with her. And it's true, you grow so fast because mm. it's someone who is already established. Mm. So you understand, and because you're not just starting with a little makeup set. I mean, you have a whole range of products mm. at your disposal wow. when you're working. Yeah. So I would shadow her, assist her. I'm telling you, you just make yourself of no repute. Eh? Because in my mind, I'd be like, yo, but I'm Miss Kenya. I, I mean, I'm a former miss. Why am yeah. I carrying bags, bringing coffee? Excuse mm. me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. possible for you to it's think like that. It's possible to think mm. like that, but right. I was like, no, this mm. is time to learn. So you just put yourself aside mm. and it builds you and you grow your networks more because mm -hmm. you're exposed to another circle that you would not have been exposed to mm. without um, her, her, her networks and her experience. That's so true. that is the, the, the power of humility. Mm. Mm. You're Miss Kenya, former Miss Kenya, yes, mm. but you know what, I'm going to humble myself mm -hmm. and carry those bags and do make tea for them, yeah. and mm. whatever I need yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. To uh-huh. Yeah. So that's how I learned. I, I think I, I interned with her for like two years. Two years? Yes. Wow. Two wow. years. Yeah. Before I branched out. Okay. Yeah. So you'll tell us about the branching mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Aha, Mose, Sasa, Ndiyo, Uyo, Sasa. Ukafikiria, ah, wait. Mm -hmm. This dance, mm -hmm. something good can come out of it. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk about volunteering. I also volunteered to actually assist. There's a lady called Liz Barrego. Yes, She's one I of the ones who mm. actually she initiated Zumba right, in, in Kenya. Kenya. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I told her, me, I want to help you. I want to help your classes. Don't even think about paying me anything. I just want to learn. Because my answers were just about learning. I want to learn how this thing is done. And uh, I learned for like around six months without being paid, you know. Oh. Actually, I used to sometimes wake up in the morning, there's no money and everything. I just walk till the classes and sometimes that is like around 20 kilometers walk because I just want to go and learn. I want to go and learn how to do this. And uh, believe you me, I didn't to ask about any money. I just said, let me teach you, let me learn from you, you know. Maybe with time, if you feel like you want to pay me, you'll pay me. And that's how I began learning. I learned and I learned and I learned. And uh, at some point, she started entrusting me with some mm. of her classes. Because mm. mm -hmm. you know. she couldn't do them all. Yeah, she mm. couldn't do them yeah. all. So mm -hmm. I used to, you know, do it, you know. And the time she gives me a class, I make sure I give it 110%. Mm. That hey, she took yeah. Sumba by storm yes. 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 when she came. Yeah, you know, she, yeah. she came to her house first. Yes, I and remember. Then, you know, she started to, to mm. show us. She took it by, by storm. Yeah, she was and everybody known. in Kenya now wanted Zumba. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I used to give it my best, you know, ensure that I'll keep on practicing to be, you know, to, better. to be better yeah. by the day. Yeah, and uh, she gave me classes and I started teaching. And uh, at some point, she told me, she told me actually, right now, you're at liberty to go and initiate your own, to go and start your own classes, you know, because yeah. I've trusted you, you've grown up and you can do this by yourself, you know, uh, take this next step. Mm -hmm. And I began, you know, I began going for lo uh, to look for classes from point A to point B. And then you say, no, like any class that even doesn't pay me, I just want to come and teach your people. You don't even think about paying, you know? So I built my name as a renowned instructor through volunteering. Mm -hmm. and through giving back wow. and I was That's so passionate amazing. about it you know so that anytime I have a class I don't just look for the back of my mind is all about the, the money but it's about giving value giving something that people will be able to reckon mm. and mm. Uh, call you back again right yeah so in other words what both of you are saying is that your voluntary services mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are the ones that actually now made you become who you are today. That's yes. true. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. That's yeah. And if you're watching us by television and you're there sitting with a gift, rise up, pick mm. yourself up.
mm. and volunteer that gift. You'll be yes. surprised. Mm. It's in that season of volunteering mm -hmm. that God is just going to open doors for you mm -hmm. and bring you before great men yeah. Yeah. because of your gift. That's so true. don't sit on your gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't have, people say, I don't have capital. Mm -hmm. Where do I start? It's it's but most capital. of the time, it's, it's, capital. it's about so, capital. Yeah. Yeah. People say, I don't have capital. Where am mm -hmm. I starting? Mm -hmm. But what about volunteering? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because volunteering, all you needed you was your hands mm -hmm. yeah. and your eyes and your skill. And your skill. <laughs> yes. What you needed was your legs. Yes, <laughs> to move you know, <laughs> and my hands. Yeah. To Where show. is what's the money that you need for the legs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's the capital you need for your hands to move? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So volunteering mm -hmm. opened doors for you. Yeah, it opened doors And now doors you started, yeah. Yeah, I started now teaching dance. And uh, some few, like one year down the line, it said, let me register a company under my own name. Uh, okay, I love myself in a way. <laughs> and uh, I began- If you don't love yourself, you can't love others. Yeah, yeah. so yes. I began Dance with Moses movement. And um, we registered a company, actually my wife and I currently. So this is the company and uh, up to date, we are still teaching dance. And uh, through the passion, through presence of time, I was able to really influence a lot of people or a lot of corporates, a lot of gyms that can be able to go and teach. That uh, by the grace of God at the moment, uh, I'm the most sought after gym instructor, Zumba instructor. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah. That clap is too weak mm. <laughs> for that kind of... <laughs> That's Did you hear that? Yeah. The most sought after mm -hmm. gym instructor. Mm. Seriously, guys, that's deep. After volunteering. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Ask your neighbor for me, what are you sitting on, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> From today, those of you who, are, who have come, mm. it's not by accident. Mm. You must go and volunteer somewhere if you're mm -hmm. not working. Mm. Amen. Yeah. So you, you now are the most sought after. Yeah, Zumba instructor. You, and you've raised others. And I've raised others. I normally have training programs for people who want to learn. So, and then also them also, they become sought after also, the people that I've trained and I've learned with me. So, you right actually, now have networks. You actually brought for me my gym instructor. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. I brought for mom the gym instructor. I have a personal gym instructor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. A very nice guy, yes. and you know Moses brought him because of his his uh, he he loved him, yeah. and he brought him, and now we totally love him. Together with my husband, we love him. He's yes. amazing. Hezekiah is amazing. He's also sought after very. because he's mm -hmm. doing a good job. And amazing. What? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, we'll talk now. You tell us where you are right now. Mm -hmm. So Ruth, mm -hmm. you started now your own. You ventured out. Yes. Mm -hmm. I ventured out. I did a lot of partnerships as well. So I would maybe, um, because when you're starting out as a makeup artist, the work is very visual. Mm. So you have to have pictures to show potential clients. This is the work I do. So I partnered with a number of photographers and I told them, you know what, let's just do a project. I'll, you won't pay me. Let's just get a model and do photo shoots. So that's how I started the Facebook page, um, Instagram, etc. Because you need material to post. So f through those images, then people see your skill, then they start calling you for mm. jobs, whether it's events, photo shoots, weddings, mm. etc. So yes, that's how I began. Mm -hmm. Wow. So today, your makeup by Ruthie. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, we're going to put all her, her uh, details <laughs> on screen <laughs> so that you can call her. She mm. does makeup. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> she does amazing makeup, uh -huh. and so uh -huh. and, and Moses, here you are. Mm -hmm. You now started your own. You 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 started raising raised yes. guys from Kisumu. Yes. What's happening right now? Uh, hey, you got married. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got married. Yes, I did. Yeah. Talk yeah. to us about that. Actually, I met my wife on, a, on the dancing floor. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So now I you caught it. I like <laughs> that. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so uh -huh. I, was, I was empowering others, you know, because I love teaching a lot. I love empowering young people. Right. So I say empowering her, and they thought, you know, this can not just I can empower her in many ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that is Lily. So we met sometime in the um, 2012. Right. 
2012 in GCC. Yeah. So that time I was given the responsibility of uh, actually raising a dance crew in the youth department mm -hmm. called Oasis. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that time Oasis I was Oasis is amazing, yeah. Yes. So uh, during that time, we used to, you know, work out, come for practice and everything. At some point, guys uh, got a bit, I think, busy with the uh, responsibilities, school, work and everything. But Hash continued committing herself. So her commitment was really, really, really out of this world. And I said, okay, let me just... If she can commit like that to dance, yes, <laughs> she'll be a committed wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, fast forward, actually, I remember I proposed to her in a major Zumba festival that you had over a thousand people. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I decided to, you know, I think Gideon copied after me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Gideon who did a proposal right. in the church. So uh, we had this Zumba festival happening at Aga Khan Sports Club, and we had over a thousand people who had showed up, all right? So, you know, after the whole thing, it was, or actually in between, as my, uh, my part was still going on, mm. I called up on stage and talked to her and I knelt down and give her the mm. ring. She cried Aww. and, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yeah, so. She cried. Mm. Yes, yeah, she cried yeah. about it. And yeah, so, and then the following year, we took like one year, six months down the line and we got married. That is in 2013. Wow. 2013, uh, actually, October 19th will be our fourth anniversary. Wow. Yes, yeah. one baby down the line, baby Yay. Tiara. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cute little girl. Cute, Cute little, girl. little yeah. girl, yeah. yeah. She'll be turning one year, actually, October 13th. Uh -huh. Yeah, so my wife has been so very... So you got educated here in JCC, mm -hmm. you yes. got a wife in mm -hmm. JCC, uh -huh. now you have a child. Yes, How awesome in is this JCC. Course? It's like everything so under one roof. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome God. Awesome and that's God. true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here is Ruth also doing yeah. makeup everywhere. I tell you, this girl can do makeup. Mm. She <laughs> does the most amazing makeup and she does it everywhere. Mm. She's, she, you just went to London <laughs> and South Africa. <laughs> Ruth, <laughs> when you started oh making this God. face, talk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started doing mom's makeup and I just wanted to do her makeup. I really did. And for me, that was privilege. I, I was like, mom, don't even pay me. I just want to do your makeup. Because for me, even standing before her to do her makeup was such a big deal. Mm -hmm. So I started doing her makeup. And it's, I, I, the grace of God on your life spilled over to me. Because just this year, just this year alone, uh, in March, I was in South Africa. Yes, I went to South Africa, bless God. Um, free of charge. Free. Everything taken care of. Free. It was South Africa tourism that catered for everything 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 meals everything i didn't spend a thing on a need they catered for everything and then just a month ago now i got the opportunity to go to a makeup school in london called academy of freelance makeup in soho london which is the most expensive part of the country <laughs> yeah. it's actually the most expensive part of london and I went for a makeup course because I just wanted to learn more and more. Because, you know, our mom provokes us to just, you can't stay. Mm -hmm. You have to keep learning. Yeah, you have to keep true. growing. That's true. Yeah. And expand your skill set. Do more. Mm. So I went to school and I just thank God for that opportunity. And there's even more to come. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Thank God for wow. that. Come oh, on. yeah. There's one more thing. <laughs> so last year, in November, I won the title of... Um, Best makeup Best artist makeup of the year. Artist of the year. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to forget that? Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. Mm. That is Best awesome. Best makeup artist of the year. Of the That's year. true. She won that award last year. Yeah. And got a big, beautiful cup. Yeah, a big, beautiful trophy. Actually, yeah. just November yeah, of last year. Yeah. It should be a month next, I mean, a year. Yeah. Next, mm. year. next month. Yes. Next That's month. awesome. Yes. Mm. I'm so proud of you. And what has given you the staying power? To mm -hmm. stay committed in church, Daughters of Zion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What has given you that staying power to stay committed in that? I think for me, God is my life source. Mm -hmm. If I connect, I'm done. If I disconnect, I'm done. Mm -hmm. It is, and he's my life source. And this is a place that has built me so much. Mm -hmm. And I know for my capacity to be enlarged, I need these teachings. I need to be mm. grounded. I need to build a very good foundation. Mm. And this is a place where I learn and then I go practice. Mm. I learn, I am mentored, I am mm. taught soundly. I receive wisdom. That's I'm true. disciplined mm. here. 
you know I'm accountable here mm. so I stay I stay under the covering Amen. Um, that God has put in my life which Amen. is you and my bishop mm. Amen. Amen and Amen. Moses what gave this staying power I think for me it's all about the kingdom everything I do is kingdom focused you know it's all about vision oriented and the purpose one of the things that I really inspired uh, my commitment to uh, serve God is just to bishop's lifestyle, your bishop's and uh, your mom's lifestyle in terms of, you know, committed to the call. They're not getting derailed or defocused. Mm -hmm. They're always focused on ensuring um, the work of God goes on. And that to me is what really has empowered me to ensure that whatever God has called me to do as in person, be it dance or anything, I can continue committing myself to it to ensure that I can be able to give an account to God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that yeah. I've done what you've called me to mm -hmm. do and I've given my 100% without looking back. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. That's beautiful. So we're going to put all your details so that people can get in touch with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. And you show them how to dance mm -hmm. and you <laughs> also show them how to do makeup. <laughs> yes. And yes. I, I believe you're going to raise many. Yeah. You, you, you even are teaching yes. now. Yes. Yeah, teaching. recently. Yeah, I began, I took, I have an intake actually that's ongoing. I... I train aspiring makeup artists or newly in the industry makeup artists. Mm. So we do some serious training because I, I train seriously yeah. so you can get the skill. And not just that, we also talk about now after you get the skill, where now? How do you start? How do you start building a portfolio? How do you get clients? So that when they, I release them into the marketplace, they already know how to get work and mm. stand on their own. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Awesome. Beautiful. This is woman without limits. I know without a shadow of doubt that the Lord has blessed you. Now you know you don't have to sit on your gift. You don't have to waste it. All you need to do is get up, take that risk. And at the end of it all, you're going to be the one who is laughing. You're going to be the one who is enjoying because it's going to pay up. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. Has he said it? Will he not do it? Has he spoken it? Will he not make it good? I tell you, let every man be a liar, but God be true. God never leaves his people. Mm -hmm. And so if you take a step of faith, he is going to honor that faith because he says it's impossible to please him mm -hmm. without faith. And yes. so I encourage you and urge you, stop sitting on that gift. Rise up. They rose up. Remember, he was only 16 mm -hmm. when he found his way to Jubilee Christian Church. She was a teenager mm -hmm. when she found her way to Jubilee Christian Church. But the Lord has been faithful, has kept them. And today, they are a force to reckon with. You see, Moses is sought after everywhere so that he can teach people how to uh, dance and, and, and to keep feet and to eat right and all that. Mm -hmm. Ruth is sought after to beautify mm -hmm. people. And she just doesn't beautify on the outside, but she also speaks a word to you because they're both a man and a woman of God. And so don't give up in life. God has a good purpose for you. I love you and God bless you. <laughs> Hello there. The Daughters of Zion started something so powerful recently called the DOZ Mtaani. And this is what we do. We go to a city, a town, and we go and clean it up. And as we clean it up, we also minister to the people and they get saved. We have seen many, many of them give their lives to Jesus as we just clean up and love on them. And as if that's not enough, Paz at Holiday in partner with us and they bring these amazing sumptuous ribs together with chips. Can you imagine? And we feed it to the people. So not only do we feed them spiritually, but also physically. And it's a beautiful, beautiful move that God is using us in this area of just seeing people saved, healed, delivered, and set free. And this time, we are going to Kiambu Town. We are going to Kiambu Town. And you know what? We shall be meeting at 12 p.m. at the Kiambu Police Station on the 21st of October. If you're available, come, let's go win souls. Let's go enjoy the last one. I had so much fun. We saw 33 souls come to Jesus, and it was just amazing, incredible. So you're welcome to come join us.